Hello everyone, now let us discuss about pharmacological classification of prostaglandins. They are broadly categorized into natural prostaglandins and prostaglandin analogs. The examples of natural prostaglandins are gemprost, dinoprostone, which is nothing but PGE2, dinoprost, which is nothing but PGF2 alpha, alprostadyl, which is nothing but PGE1, prostacycline, which is nothing but PGI2. It is also called as epoprostinol. Coming to prostaglandin analogs, the first drug is carboprost, which is nothing but 15 methyl PGF2 alpha. Next is misoprostol, which is nothing but methyl PGE1 ester. Latinoprost, which is nothing but PGE2 analog. Travoprost and Pimetoprost. These are the examples of prostaglandin analogs. Now let us discuss some of the marketed preparations. The first drug is PGE2, which is nothing but dinoprostone. The marketed products are Prostin E2. It is usually available in the dosage range of 1 to 10. It is used as vaginal gel, vaginal tablet, extra amniotic solution, intravenous solution, oral tablet and cervical gel. Coming to the dosage requirements of vaginal gel, it is 1 mg or 2 mg in 2.5 ml. 1 mg inserted into posterior fornix followed by 1 to 2 mg after 6 hours it required. The next is vaginal tablet that is 3 mg, the doses. 3 mg inserted into posterior fornix followed by another 3 mg if labor does not start within 6 hours. Extra amniotic solution is infrequently used. It is nothing but 10 mg per ml in 0.5 ml ampule. IV root also rarely used because it has more side effects. Intravenous solution, it is available in the dosage of 1 mg per ml in 0.75 ampule or 10 mg per ml in 0.5 ml ampule. Oral tablet, Primoprost is the marketed preparation. The dosage is 0.5 mg. One tablet hourly till induction, maximum 1.5 mg per hour. It is rarely used because it causes more side effects. The next is cervical gel, Cervi Prime, which is nothing but 0.5 mg in 2.5 ml pre-filled syringe. Coming to the dose, 0.5 mg inserted into cervical canal for pre-induction, cervical softening and dilation in patients with poor Bishop score. The next drug is Gemprost. The marketed products is Sarvagem. It is available as 1 mg vaginal pessary. Dosage is for softening of cervix in first trimester, 1 mg 3 hours before attempting dilation. For second trimester abortion or molar gestation, 1 mg every hour, maximum of 5 doses should be given. The next drug is PGF2 alpha, which is nothing but dinoprost. The marketed products is uh, the marketed products is prostin F2 alpha. Intraamniotic injection, which is available as 5 mg per ml in 4 ml ampule. For mid term abortion or induction of labor, it is rarely used. The next is 15 methyl PGF2 alpha, which is nothing but carboprost. The marketed product is prostodin, which is available as 2.25 mg in 1 ml ampule. 2.25 mg intramuscularly every 30 to 120 minutes for postpartum hemorrhage, midterm abortion and missed abortion. The next is misoprostol, which is nothing but methyl PGE1 ester. It is available, the marketed products are cytopelog, which is available as 200 mg tablet, misoprost, 100 mg or 200 mg mg tablet, T pill plus miso, which contains mefipristone 200 mg tablet plus misoprostol, 200 mu g tablets, 3 tablets of mefipristone plus 2 tablets of misoprost. They are given in combination. 200 mu g oral, oral given 6 hourly. Mefipristone 3 tablets orally followed 2 days later by misoprostol 2 tablets orally for termination of pregnancy of up to 49 days. The next drug is PGE1, which is nothing but alprostadyl. The marketed products are prostin, VR or bioglandin, which is available in 0.5 mg in 1 ml injection. 
dosage is 0.5 mg per slow by slow IV inject infusion. And finally, PGI2, which is nothing but prostacycline or epoprostenol. The marketed products are Flowland, which is available at 0.5 mg per vial for reconstitution, 0.5 mg by IV infusion or injection in extra car corporeal circulation. These are some of the marketed products of prostaglandins. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on pharmacological classification of drugs.